Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, it's Wednesday night. Hope you all are having a great week. Um, first things first, I want to say let's go Blues. It is opening day. Uh, first uh, regular season game tonight against the Capitals. Um, anyway, uh, I want to give a couple updates. Um, my workouts have been pretty good. Uh, I've been utilizing the sauna before and after uh, just to kind of help heat the core up and um, just kind of help stretch a little bit before, a little bit after working out. Um, workouts haven't been super long. Um, they will, they've been kind of um, ramping up, I guess. You could say I go to 24 hour fitness in Pasadena and it is always busy. So I think I'm going to uh, take after my friend Jen and uh, start buying some equipment um, just a piece at a time and just bring it home. Um, I've got a garage, I've got a you know, pretty open inside as well. Um, I can put stuff so you know, I'm, I'm not too worried about interrupting someone else's life um uh things are going pretty good though um if you've been around me in the past year or two you know that uh i i tend to walk with a limp or you know most of the time um it, it seems to have eased up which is good um my left knee uh, i tore something years ago um 2015 2016 and you know being the generic guy that i am of course uh you know haven't really gone and got it taken care of yet and don't want to have surgery on it if i can avoid it so losing weight's a great option um i have been rehabbing it at the gym i've been you know researching uh, rehabbing the injuries and, and, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying I'm a, a, a doctor via YouTube or anything like that. I'm not that stupid, but <clears throat> I'm just kind of going by suggestions and what other people have gone through and, and pains that other people have gone through that are similar to mine and, and, you know, rehabbing it from there. If, if I couldn't walk or if I, if it was excruciating or, or whatever, I would definitely see a physician and get it taken care of. Um, but uh, if you notice the thumbnail of this video is my grocery haul for tonight. And uh, um, a lot of it's uh, some rice cauliflower, some mashed cauliflower, some ribs. I'm gonna do uh, some uh, ribs with some sugar-free um, barbecue sauce and I got some chicken wings I'm gonna do some sugar-free barbecue sauce and just kind of mix things up a bit um, I don't mind eating similar things over and over again but I kind of want to try other things if anything else just to maybe eventually share with y'all and and uh, you know try to videotape a somebody that has no business showing somebody else how to cook I'll show you how to cook. Um, um, dieting is going pretty good. I am doing uh, intermittent fasting. Um, I, I'm. It's uh, seven thirty-eight right now. I will. I'm pretty much done eating for the night. I'm full. Um, I've been getting to the point that I'm actually having to force myself to eat. Um, I'm hungry, but I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm not it, it has changed for me a little bit um I do get hungry during the day but um I uh I really just I, I lean heavily on my water um some green tea like I said I do the the Lipton diet green tea um maybe one or two of those during my work shift and uh two bottles of that water and uh really lean heavily on that um 
and um, make sure I get you know a little bit of vegetables with the zucchini noodles and stuff like that during the day. I'm not super huge on you know just diving into a um, a plate of vegetables. The actually, ironically enough, that the ones that I actually do like aren't keto. So it is what it is. Um, my general grocery list. Um, I mean, I'm sure you can see some of the stuff in the picture. Um, the only thing that's kind of missing is eggs. Um, I generally get about two dozen eggs when I go. Um, the only reason I didn't is, uh, what was it, Sunday, Saturday, I got three dozen, so I've got a little bit left. Um, um, but yeah, I, I generally get eggs. Uh, that's probably about the only thing that's missing. Um, I've got enough like string cheese and, and, uh, pork rinds and, and stuff like that crackling. Um, I've got, you know, munchies type stuff, but it was, it was meals I was kind of missing. Um, so I did take, when I started this on the, uh, 24th, something like that. I did take some before pictures and um, I am going to post them. They'll probably fade in, fade out. Um, I am obviously not proud of them. I'm not proud of, of where I am, where, you know, where I started. Um, I did, I spent the better part of the afternoon trying to, to find somewhere to weigh myself and, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the show Robin Big. Probably going to have to find a recycling center. Uh, as stupid as that sounds, it's probably my best bet so far. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at so far. I, I really, uh, I'm enjoying the diet. I, it's To me, it's not as much of a diet as it is an education learning so much stuff about you know what you can and what you should put in your body and what you shouldn't put in your body and when you should do it and and you know so many people are coming out with advice some of it good some of it bad some of it I already knew but I'm thankful for it all um I you know it's it's all going to drive to to one end and that's me being a much lighter much healthier person um I will probably stay with a keto diet um, after I lose the weight, but I will probably cycle um, a little bit and probably cheat and pro you know, but it definitely won't return to where I am now. I swear to you. Um, I am not happy. It affects my sleep. It affects everything. It affects you know, personal interactions, it affects, you know, getting up off the couch, it affects everything. Um, I've gone to job interviews that I've more than likely lost because of my weight. You know, uh, it's definitely stuff that I can do and definitely stuff that I've done. But because I look like a fat lard, they don't want to deal with me. You know, they don't want to deal with me getting winded, carrying something across the room. Um, so, and I, and you know, to a certain extent, I don't blame them. You know, I'm, I did this to me. I, I'm not one of those people that would ever call somebody out for, uh, what's termed fat shaming. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a crock. Um, unless you're making a, fun of somebody that legitimately can't help it you know the the one percent of obese people oh it might be more but the one percent of obese people that legitimately have a health problem that they can breathe air and it makes them fat you know um but i'm also not one of those people that you know um wants to sit around and let myself get bigger. I mean, if I did, I wouldn't be doing this. 
Um, but I don't have a problem, you know, with, there's a, uh, female model Tess Holiday. I don't care. Somebody asked me the other day what I think about, um, like, you know, bigger models and, and, you know, plus size models. I don't care. I, I, it's never once crossed my mind one bit. Um, I mean, if they want to do it and they can make money at it and I don't care. I really don't. Um, you know, would I aspire for, you know, a, a child of mine to be my size? Hell no. Hell no. You know, no. But also, would I want a child of mine to look down on somebody like me? No. Not at all. You know, but like I said, I'm not disabled. I'm not, uh. You know, I don't, uh, you know, I don't necessarily wait for the, you know, closest spot to the store and all that junk. I, you know, I, I, you know, I, I know that there's people way worse off than, than myself. Um, so anyway, I, uh, didn't mean to ramble on you, but, uh, I, uh, like I said, um, I will probably post some items in the description um, last two or three times and I'll post some of the stuff that I get it'll probably be from our local Texas grocery HEB so if you're not in Texas you find other stuff um, next video I'll probably do some walkthroughs with some um, stuff that you probably shouldn't eat um, oh uh, on my Facebook page uh, make Rhino Smaller, I am going to put some recipes. Um, I've started with a couple. You go look for recipes and you find a site and you find a couple recipes and that's the, the site's, you know, five pages long and, you know, it's, it's separated by, you know, 20 ads. I'm going to collect, start collecting recipes and cutting all the ads out and putting them on my Facebook page. Unfortunately, right now, that's really the only uh, um, place I have to put them. I don't have my own website. I don't have anything like that. So they'll be on my Facebook page. But uh, anyway, that's where we are right now. Again, hope you have a great week. And uh, probably check in um, Saturday, maybe. Maybe Friday. Probably Saturday. I'm going to try to get to a regular posting schedule. Um, maybe, uh, you know, Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, just kind of depends. Um, but, uh, anyway, I hope you have a great week. Keep eating clean and just try to get out there and do something. Thank you.